Welcome to our Lent series of uh, evening devotions, though there's no reason why you cannot connect into these at indeed any uh, hour of the day. The Bible is full of stories about people, real people, who lived at real places uh, in real times. One of the many is a man called Haggai. He wrote a book, a short book of just two chapters in the Old Testament. And we're going to look together each evening for a few minutes at uh, what he has to say to us through those two chapters. But first of all, who was Haggai? Well, he was a prophet. We read in verse 1 of chapter 2, in the seventh month of the 21st day of the month, the word of the Lord came by the hand of Haggai, the prophet. Or verse 10 of the second chapter. On the 24th day of the ninth month, in the second year of Darius, the word of the Lord came by Haggai, the prophet. Haggai is called the Lord's messenger. We know very little else about him. Was he young or or old? We, We don't really know. As I say, we know very little at all about him. But the fact that he was the Lord's messenger, the fact that he was the Lord's voice, that's what's really very significant. So, to verse 1 of chapter 1. In the second year of Darius the king, in the sixth month, on the first day of the month, the word of the Lord came by the hand of Haggai the prophet to Zerubbabel, the son of Shantiel, governor of Judah, and to Joshua, the son of Jehoshaphat, the high priest. You see, the Lord raises up women and men who will speak out and who will call people back to God, who will call people to live lives that follow the ways of God and who follow the rule of God. In this opening verse, we're told that the word of the Lord came through the prophet Haggai. Please pray that God would give you and I the courage to speak God's word, to speak God's word clearly and to speak God's word boldly. Become a person who increasingly hears the voice of God, a man or a woman who heeds what the Bible teaches and what the Bible has to say, who listens to the still small voice of the Holy Spirit and who builds our whole lives upon the voice of God, the word of God, and who communicates to others what God is saying to us. Be God's lips, clearly, lovingly, and boldly. Be God's voice. Ask God for courage to enable you every day in the place where God has placed you to be his voice. To be his voice in the workplace, to be his voice in your home, to be his voice in your school, to be his voice in your neighbourhood. Be God's voice. He has given us his word. Feel free to share a verse with those around you on a, on a day-by-day basis. Share what you sense God has placed upon your heart by way of a word of encouragement to share with those near and dear to you or those that you come across, a neighbour, a friend, or or even a stranger. Haggai wasn't in human terms a very special person, but he became God's messenger. He became God's voice, a calling that God also has on your life and on my life. So let's pray at the very beginning of this little Lenten series that God would give us his voice. Let us pray. Lord, we pray that you would give to each and every person that's listening to these devotional talks your voice. Lord, that you would increase our hunger for your word, our commitment, Lord God, to sharing your word with those around us, that, Lord, you would impart words of wisdom and words of knowledge to your children that lord would enable them to encourage others in their workplaces and their 
uh, homes, uh, among their friends, and even to strangers. Lord God Almighty, grant to your people your voice, and grant to your church in this day your voice, to speak your word boldly, clearly, tenderly, but powerfully. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. And we will be ending uh, this little series each evening with the evening collect. Lighten our darkness, we beseech you, O Lord, and by your great mercy defend us from all the perils and dangers of this night for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.